Welcome to this yoga class featuring use of the wall to help us get comfortable with our half moon, which uh, I know for a lot of people can be very uncomfortable to leave the earth. And if we have something there behind us, fairly close behind us, sometimes we feel more comfortable exploring and experimenting. So that's where we're headed today. But first we need to warm the body. So let's take the right toes off the earth and then lift the leg and just make some circles with the hip. Hands could be on the pelvis here. And reverse. It's mobility work. Turn this into a tree where that sole of foot comes to the shin or inner thigh, just never on the knee. Arms reach. And maybe you rotate toward lead leg. Maybe it's a little too early for that. Maybe you stay still, come back to center. Opposite side. I like to inhale center and exhale opposite way. And this is where, one more time, you could be hanging onto the wall. Back to center, release that foot. Pause in Tadasana. The sense what it's like to have both feet on the earth. If one sole of foot feels different than the other, pull up through the kneecaps, a sense of lift, pressing evenly through the feet. Shoulders roll back, hands just at your sides, not necessarily behind or in front, just right at your sides. And then come onto the left toes and lift the leg. Notice if you kind of leaned like I did, <laughs> zip up through the standing leg. It's best you're able. <laughs> Again, this is where a hand could come to the wall. And reverse. Take that leg out, lengthen it. And then sole a foot to that opposite shin. Press that standing leg almost like in toward the, toward midline. Hug outer thigh in. Could stay here, maybe with use of the wall or toes on the earth. Reach up if you may and rotate one direction. Come back to center. Try the opposite way. So if you like this. All spine, inhale. <laughs> Exhale one more time to opposite side. <laughs> and then back through center, feet side by each. Let's turn toward the left if your mat is long ways like me. And that hand closest to the wall can come to it if you wish. And this is more, you'll see this and runners do this a lot, leg swings here. So not so much yoga, but mobility. Just swing that leg. Again, that zip up feeling through the other leg. And then bend the knee and send the leg back in space. Flex the foot, bring it forward. Bend the knee, send it back in space. Flex, come forward. Just warming ourselves up for half moon. <laughs> and reverse this bicycle knee comes forward with it bent. Lengthen the leg, flex the foot, send the leg back. And if you don't need the wall, great. <laughs> but this is mobility, so we are using it as a support. Ah, last time here, bring the leg back and allow the foot to land, bend lead knee, adjust your stance as you need, kind of a short stance here just for warrior one. Arms can reach. Ah. And from here, inhale, lengthen the lead leg. And exhale, pour yourself forward. Bend, lead knee, use the hands if you need on the thigh, sweep yourself up. And from here, you can use the wall if you need. 
to bring that leg closest to the wall in toward you and lengthen the leg out and pause. This will engage through your quadricep. Bend the knee and drive the heel back as you come into your warrior three. Okay, so you can have hand on wall or not. Roll the shoulders back slightly, head in line with spine. And this time, bend that knee, pull the leg through with or without the wall, step the foot down. And you'll need to step your right leg way back, further back, runner's lunge. You can come closer to the wall here for what's to come. Even your runner's lunge, you could use the wall as a support. Not here long. More inhale and exhale to open up into warrior two, back toward the wall. Mm -hmm. Let's turn the palms toward the sky, lengthen lead legs to continue warming the hip a little bit and bend, lengthen and bend. One more time, reach, hands up and back on a diagonal, lengthen lead leg. And then bring your torso in alignment with your pelvis, arms open again, triangle, send the hips back in space, left arm down, right arm up. Right, not like me to grip through the toes. And that wall's just behind you, just to give you a sense of, of length and, yeah. And bend the lead leg, come into a side angle. Maybe the opposite arm comes over the ear. And this is where we'll move into our half moon from here. So adjust as you need, pop the back toes off the earth and lift to stack the hips. Arms directly out from the shoulder if able. The pelvis might be on the wall a little bit. Your booty might be on the wall. Micro bend that supporting leg. And you could just stay here the entire time. Or if you'd like your knees nice and healthy, you feel like it's nice and stable, stabilize your muscles are good. Bend lead knee, sweep that left arm up, come into exalted, and then back flow in and out of half moon. I think I need to adjust a little bit here. There we go. Sweep out, exalted, and back in. With it right up the wall here, out, and in. Lead knee needs to track in line with the second and third toe. Around one more, if you choose. Ah, and pause in the half moon. And re-bend lead knee so that you can sweep that left arm up again. And we'll switch so that, ah, for a left arm, I'll come in front of the face. That right arm sweeps up as you turn or pivot on the toes so that your right foot now leads. From here, step forward and take those leg swings. So that arm, uh, that hand closest to the wall can come to the wall, adjust if you need space <laughs> and sweep the leg forward and back. The tall spine. The pendulum. Bend the lead knee, send the leg back in space, sweep it through, lengthened with the foot flexed, and then bend the foot and send the leg back. Or bend the foot. <laughs> bend the knee and send it back. <laughs> ah. It's funny, sometimes the things we end up saying. <laughs> and pull that knee back through, lengthen the leg, flex through the foot, pendulum the leg back, bend the knee, Flex through the 
knee. And I was like, did I do it again? Pendulum the leg back. It's a few like this. I treat these videos like I do in class. You can't, when you're live, you can't redo it. <laughs> so unless it's really bad, I still uh, put these videos out there. <laughs> One more. Leg comes back behind you, let it land. Arms reach up as you lengthen lead leg and pour your body forward. That lead hip will pull back into its socket a little bit. Rebend lead knee as you come again into the warrior one. Pause here. And then with or without the wall, hand could come to it as you pull that leg closest to the wall, long. Again, quad engaged. Try, unlike me, I was doing it, leaning back. Try to keep <laughs> the shoulders in line with the hip socket. More inhale here. And then exhale, plant that foot and send that opposite leg, that left leg further back behind you, adjust shimmy so that you're in the war, the lunge. Nice long lunge here. Press through the forefoot of the back foot. You can upper arms by the sides of the ears and ribs just slightly pulled toward the pubic bone or drawing down might be a better word. One more breath and open up into warrior two. Adjust again as you need. That's where it's a little bit tricky. And then reach those arms up as the lead leg lengthens and bend. Be like this. More time length and reach those arms or hands back and up on a diagonal and re-bend that lead knee so that right forearm can come to thigh side angle or any variation of side angle. Come tall once more, length and lead legs and hips back in space and take your triangle Rebend the lead knee so that you can bring that left or that right hand toward the earth, stack the hips into your half moon. And adjust as you need to see where you need to land, how far away from the wall, how close you want it to your body. Bend lead knee, maybe sweep right arm up into exalted, and you might return to that half moon. <laughs> And there will be lots of wobbles <laughs> left. And return into half moon. You don't need to go at my pace. And see, unlike me, if you can land that back foot a little more softly and try it this time after the half moon. See if we can land it softly. <laughs> and reach. Again, half moon. Last time for the reach and a final half moon. And then those hands will come to the earth as you turn the pelvis toward the earth. You can lift the torso here and the wall hand can be on the wall if you wish. In this warrior three. And then lift up tall to stand, the short edge of your mat. And again, returns to the wall as we send that ah, right leg back behind us into the warrior three on this side now. And lift ourselves tall, bring the leg through again, just like before. 
and then we'll turn this into a tree. Bring the sole of that foot closest to the wall to the inseam of the shin. And you might use the wall here. Notice also if your balance is better the second time through after practicing some other poses. Or inhale here and exhale to release and take that leg that's closest to the wall and wrap or cross the leg behind the other and then side bend over toward the wall if you wish. Also have the feet side by each. And to unravel, come tall, turn toward the wall, hands to the wall. Lift up tall and turn the opposite way. That outside leg will lift and bring it into a warrior three just for a moment. And feet side by each other side, bring that um, foot up. Lift through the quad a little longer this time. Try not to lean back. And then bring the leg through back into the warrior three. And then find your tree pose as you lift up through the torso. And that foot closest to the wall comes to the inseam. Again, hand on the wall or not. Is your tree different? And then take that same foot, cross it in behind the other one. Arms can reach and bend over to any degree toward the wall. And you might need to bring your feet a little further away, whatever works. Inhale and exhale to turn toward the wall. Slide the hands all the way down. Just hang in your forward fold here. and lower yourself to the mat. Ah, then you'll be facing the wall. So you would have landed like this. And from here, you could scooch close to the wall so that you can bring your legs, ah, your feet to plant. Hmm. Perhaps knees in line with hips and cross that right leg over. Ankle to thigh, open up the knee, flex through top foot for figure four. And always scooch the bottom closer to the wall if that serves you better. Soften the shoulders and breathe fully. And cross that leg, switch sides. That left ankle will cross. Again, always flex the knee, very important, or flex the ankle rather, to protect the knee. Final inhale. And exhale to release both feet to the wall. Let them slide toward your right. You can adjust as you need. If you don't like the feet on the wall, you rather have your hips a little shifted further toward the left. Whatever feels right in the supine rotation. No effort here. Inhale and exhale, slide those feet back to center and allow them to go to the opposite side.
Hmm. And legs can come back up the wall. Adjust as you need. And then heel toe, heel toe, the feet nice and wide into this frog pose. If you don't like frog, the feet, you could scoot yourself closer to the wall first and feet could go wide into a wide forward fold or even feet together. I like a bolster for that one though, with the feet on the wall, bolster underneath the hips. How about exploring your practice over time? It'll become easier to, well, you'll know all your options and you can choose whatever works for you more readily. Few breaths. Mm, and heel toe, heel toe, the feet back to that hip distance. If it feels good for you, weight is mostly on the shoulders here. You can peel the spine off and lift the hips. As long as the weight's not on the neck and lower slowly back down. You can stay with that or feet can plant. Scoot yourself as you need away from the wall. So feet are on the earth and lift up into a bridge. I'll turn to the side just so you can see better. And plant the palms down, press the arms heavy into the earth as the hips lift and integrate the ribs. And then try just to allow the ribs to release to see what that's like and integrate again. Let them flare a little and integrate. Can also clasp the hands, press the side of the fists into the earth or side of the hands into the earth, roll one shoulder and then the other under the body and really just release through the front line here as the, the hands press down, arms press. And lower through the spine. If you like counter poses and it's safe for your back, you can lengthen the legs and bring the toes toward the nose a little. And since you're still facing the wall, your heels, after you're done with this little stretch, could come to the wall and you could do legs up. And again, in just as you need, some people like to come really close to the wall with their hips and swing their legs up and stay in Savasana this way, perhaps. Let everything drain away. About 10 breaths. Try to come into presence, even if it's just for a short time, to practice it. If it helps you focus, your mind's really distracted, maybe you count the breaths. One more inhale, widen to the sides of the ribs. Exhale, ha. Let's inhale and hum. Mm.
Again, inhale through the nose. And hum out the mouth. Mm. Just feel that vibration one more inhale. Exhale, hum. Mm. Notice how you feel as you start to maybe wiggle the feet side to side or make circles with the ankles. Reverse. You might need to move away from the wall a little bit so you can just scooch so that the feet can come onto the wall and you might slide one foot up and then the other to feel through the soul. Mm -hmm. and then pause and come on to your favorite side tiny little ball and on an exhale or when empty press yourself up to seated with your back against the wall if you wish Mm. Just pause again. Asana practice. It's really about being able to work with the nervous system, settle everything so that we can meditate. Maybe regain some perspective. Reach those arms up as you look up. And bring the hands to the forehead. May our thoughts come from our hearts. Hands down to the throat and the mouth. May our words be kind and compassionate. And hands down to the heart where compassion lies. Thank you for practicing with me today. Satnam. Have a great day.